Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to access list elements in Python, what is forward indexing, what is backward indexing. So in the last video, we have seen that how to create list in Python. Now after the creation, what we have to do, we have to access the elements or items of a list. To access the elements or items of a list, we have to use an operator called index operator or slice operator. So, the elements of the list can be accessed by using the index or slice operator. What is this index or slice operator? That is nothing but by using the square braces. Next, what is the syntax? Before going to learn about syntax, here the index that is the ind indices, it is also called as the indices. The indices of a list will start from 0 and it will go up to the length minus 1. What does it mean? For example, for example, if you are having a list with 100 elements, then the first element of the list is going to be stored at the 0th index. Then the second element will be stored at the first index and the third element will be stored at the second position or second index like this so on and on it will be continued so the syntax for accessing a list element is list name and the number or the index position which we want to access for example if we want to access the fifth po fifth index element then we have to pass the five as the index number now, what are the different ways to access list elements? In Python, to access the elements of a list, we have two ways. One is positive in list index. This is also known as forward indexing. Next one, negative list index. This is also known as backward indexing. Now, what is positive list index? Just now we have seen that to access the any element from the list we have to use the a number that we are calling it as the index or indices like that or a positive index means where the indices start from 0 and it goes up to the length minus 1 now what is the syntax that is here we will pass the positive index number that is Whenever we have taken a list, then it is going to start from the 0 and it is going to end the length minus 1 as the index numbers. So, for example, if you are having a list with 10 elements, then the index will start from 0 and it is going to end the index number at the 9. This is what we know. So, let us take the example. Yes, I am taking a list called list leo so any name which follows the identifier rules so i am taking 9 66 52 ram 23.5 and 86 we know that a list is a type where it is going to hold the elements of heterogeneous types that means it is not going to hold only integers it is not going to hold any float values it is not going to hold only strings it is not going to hold characters so it is going to hold any type of element in the same list now if i want to access 23.5 23.5 then what is the index number of 23.5 initially 0 1 2 3 and 4. So, print of list name is listleo and the operator is the square brace. What is the index we want to print? 4. Run. Yes, we got the 23.5. Now, you have a doubt that what will it happen if we type access out of the index that is 0. 1, 2, 3rd index, 4th index and 5th index. Now if you try to access the 5th index, basically this list comes of only the indexes up to 0 to 5. 
but if you try to access the index beyond the length then what we are going to get that is we are going to get an error called index error the error is a list index out of range if you try to access indexes other than the above said range then there will be rise of an index error index error what is that index error list index out of range so what is the number we have to pass in the list name we have to pass the positive integer only we cannot use float or any other types if you pass the any other type than the float i am mean, sorry integer positive integer value you are going to get the type error let's make a try of that one also int of list leo of 1.5 1.5 is a float value so if you pass the index number as a 1.5 look at here type error list indices must be integers or slices but not the float values so we should not pass the float or other types if we pass we are going to get the answer as the type error let's take this one example 9968748885 so what is how many elements are there total six elements so the index starts at the zero so first index starts at the zero and the index ends at the length minus 1 the length of this one is the 6 length equal to 6 so the ending will be 6 minus 1 that is 5 so first index ending at 5 now how these indices will be so these indices will be at the 0th index we are having the 99 first index 68 second index 74 third index 38 fourth index 88 and the last index fifth index is the 45 so here if you observe that the index numbers are everything in the positive values from 0 1 2 3 4 5 this is positive list index how it is going to be represented look at here so when we write it in a table the positive indices will be start from the 0 and end at the length minus 1 and every element will be hold in the one index position like this now take it to list index this is purely the contrast of the positive index that means here the index starts at the minus 1 and ends at the minus 9 now what is the syntax simple Instead of positive number, we are going to assign the negative index number or we can use the negative index number for accessing the list elements. For example, if you have the 10 elements in our list, then the indexes allocated for that one will be start set minus 1 and end set minus 10. The remaining things are same that is if you try to access the indexes other than the above set range, then you are going to get the index error here what you have to use the index number we have to use the negative number and we can't use the total other types now 99 68 74 38 88 45 now the negative indexing will not start from the starting position they will not start from the starting position but from where it is going to start the negative index starts from the last element so the negative indexing starts from the last element that's why 45 will have the minus 1 indexing and the indexing ends at the minus n that is length of the list what is the length of this list 6 so negative index ends at the minus 6 minus 1 45 then minus 2 88 minus 3 38 minus 4 74 minus 5 68 minus 6 99 
So these are the negative indexes. So if you represent the tabular format, negative index, this one not positive, this one is negative. Negative index starts from the ending of the list. That's why the representation is given like this. So the negative index starts from the ending of the list. That is the last element in the list will be given as the minus 1. But before that one it is minus 2. Up to the first element. The first element is nothing but the uh, index value of minus length. If the length of the list is 6, then the last, I mean, first element's index is minus 6. So in the 74 in the above list using positive and negative indexing. So if you represent the same thing in the tabular format, positive indexing will be from the starting element to the ending element that is 0 to n minus 1 length. So this way. So this is a table. When coming to the negative indexing, the index starts from minus 1, that too it will be from the last element to the first element like this. Now what we have to do? We have to access the 74 by using the positive index as well as the negative index for this list. Now, student marks equal to 99, 68, 74, 38, 88, 45. Now, what is the code we have to do? We have to print the 74 using the positive index and as well as the negative index. So, to print the, the positive index, print positive index of 74 comma what is the index STD student marks of what is the index of positive index of 74 this is 0 1 and this is 2 so we have to use the 2 then negative index so negative index of 74 is the last element will have the minus 1 minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 4, run, look at here, positive index of 74, we got the answer 74, negative index of 74, 74, yes, that means for the same element, the positive index is 2 and the negative index is minus 4, yes, positive index is 2. And the negative index is minus 4. Now, I have shown you this type error as well as the index error in the negative indexing. I will show you that one also. This is my list of good underscore marks of 2. So, what we are going to get the 2? Nothing but 74. Yes, good. Now, So, does this one having the 20? No. Obviously, this is a positive number. But, to access this 74 in the negative way, we have the minus 4. So, 74. Now, if we try to access minus 8, basically, how many elements are there in this list? 6 elements. So, 6 elements means minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. But we are trying to access the minus 8. So that is, when you run this one, we are going to get that index error, that is list index out of range. Because the index should be either positive or negative, but that should be the within the range of this length. So it should not exit the length. Now, if you try to access the list element by using the negative float value then type error this is same as the this type error list indices must be integers or slices but not float list indices must be integer or slices but not float so this is the positive and negative indexing now i have a doubt student details i have taken a student details with some uh, I will take the name Ram and uh, city as Hyderabad 
okay fine uh, another one that is percent is 98.5 it might what it might be because a list may comes of anything any element also so here another point is a list may consists of another list as an element so i am taking six subject marks as 98 99 98 97 print of student details so if i run this one yes ram hyderabad 98.5 then all the elements in the list have been printed good because we know that a list may consists of any type of elements in that particular list so a list may consists of the another list this is called as the sub list a list which consists of the another list as the element then that element list is called as the sub list now you may get a doubt that sir how can we access this 97 by using indexing as it may be a positive or negative that is nested or multiple indexing so a list can contain any sort of object or element even another list which means it can say of the sub list themselves they are known as the nested list they are known as the nested list that means a list inside another list so you why what is the purpose of creating them means you can use them to arrange the data in the hierarchical structures you can access individual items in the nested list using multiple indexes so if you want to access this 97 we have to use the multiple index for example if you try to access student details of the index number for this one is 0 1 2 3 3 we are going to get that all the elements of that list because the entire list has been considered as the, the particular element now what is our goal we have to access only 97 for that one how can we access is this is the syntax the index number 1 this means main main index and this one is the sub list index so what is the main index of this list it is 3 what is the index of this 97 in the sub list 0 1 2 3 so print the student details of third element i mean third index position element and then in that one we can print the again third position 97 we got the 97 so this is the example i have taken so how it is going to take if i take ram a number 20 hyderabad and a sub list so first zeroth position is going to hold the ram first position is going to hold the zero sorry 20 second index is going to hold the hyderabad what about third third is going to hold this again sub list so the sub list is going to be created like this with the again first index 0 1 2 3 or negative index minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 now how we can get access is we can access with the help of the multiple indexes that is one for the main index another one for the sub index sorry um, main list index another one for the sub list index now if you want to access this 55 how can i write 55 is available in the third index of main and then 55 is available in the minus 1 sorry 1 positive 1 1 so 3 1 returns the 55 ram 20 hyderabad good details equal to ram 20 hyderabad then again a sub list 99 55 99 55 32 33 33 so print of good that of third in the third index 
and in that third index we want to access the 55 that means first element run yes we got the 55 now you may get a doubt that sir is it possible to access with the help of the negative index obviously it is possible now what is the 55 is negative indexing negative indexing is the minus 3 so 3 of minus 3 run yes we got the 55 so can we take the negative indexing for the main index also yeah so what is this one minus 1 this element is the minus 1 minus 1 and what is the in first index of 1 for this one? Minus 1 is 55. Yes, 55. Now, you, you may regard the, that, sir, can we use the multiple negative indexings? Yes, it is also acceptable. What is the uh, negative indexing of this one? Minus 1. We have taken minus 1. What is the negative indexing of 55? It is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So, minus 3. Run. Yes, we got the 55. So, this is the way we can access the sublist inside the list. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you everyone.